It has been an incredible day of lifting so far, and this is just the start of the Opens. Now, there is a possibility for some drama here because there's a world record that Fedeshenko does not have, and that's the squat world There's a world record. record that he doesn't have? If you could believe it, sir. 240 wow. kilos by Kevin Gray of Australia, no less. Yes, correct. I hope... Uh, Someone's Derek. told uh, Fedosienko because I imagine yeah. he wants that. So there. Taking his time. Yep. A minute's a long time. You could use it. Get nice and tight. And the Canadian, again, rather tall for a 59 kilo, probably cuts a lot of weight. Yeah, so this is pretty close to his PB of 1675. Well, it's going to be on that line for depth. Let's I think see he might go for a PB today. If he can get this up with good quality lifters, with a good technique, you will see their elbows come forward and put their arms and shoulders into a press position. Yep. you got to keep it under the bar. It pops the shoulders up, pops the chest up. Derek NG, Canada, 170. Up the there, nicely that done. That was a very, very good third squat. Now Derek's hit 87.5 on his nomination. It's a stitch higher than that. But I know the Canadian coaching staff, if you want to open up with a new personal record in competition, they always ask you in training, how many times have you hit this weight? Are you familiar with it? Yeah, so he had an 87.5 earlier this year at the Canadian Powerlifting Championships, and clearly he was yeah. holding back. Yeah, see, I know the, the Canadian staff, 59 kilo and 120 plus. These guys got to work a lot. Here comes Derek NG. Five kilo jump from his opener. His opener moved very well. Here is coach in the sidelines there, just yelling out those instructions yeah. to him in the last minute there. That's Avi, head coach for the Canadian team, and he's a bit of a bench specialist. So he's really in his wheelhouse. A little uneven, but it should be good. It comes up. Three one. Derek just getting himself organized. Getting everything where he wants it. He has a pretty smart move here, two and a half kilos on his final lift. Saving a little bit in the tank. Again, another uh, gentleman with a very, very solid deadlift. It's close. Yeah, two and a half kilos. Wow. A lot of work. Stalled. I don't think it came back down on him. Didn't Should be good. Up. Open it. Wow. 247 and a half. And we know the Canadian coaches aren't going to load up a record if they don't think he's going to hit it. Especially on an opener. Yeah. They, they'll have seen video so of him. They'll be very, very confident of this lift. Yeah. That is a monster opening lift. Double overhand Not hook Not just a 59, but a junior. Where do you see how he deads? It's so proficient. Such a technician. Just like that. Wow. Two, Ed. four, seven and a half, and mm -hmm. he takes the work. Two hundred and sixty kilos. He's a junior competing in the Opens. His deadlift is one of the most efficient deadlifts you're going to see. I have a feeling he's going to smoke this. I would anticipate so. And the way 
he builds. He uses really almost takes his time with yeah. that setup. He makes sure everything is right. He's got 10 seconds left. Wow. And he nails that. And he gets Gutsy two. kid. Fedoshenko has been powerlifting as long as this kid's been alive. And he's trying to upstage Fedoshenko. Hats off to him. 274.5. This is huge. And he's the Canadian pulling in Canada. This is 14 and a half kilos over his second lift. It's a monster ass. The whole house is on their feet right now. But his deadlifts were moving fast. If anyone can do it, it's him. Down to 15 seconds. And this kid likes to take his time with the setup. Here we are. Wow. Whoa. Oh, and he couldn't quite hold on to it. What a hell of a go, though. 